Welcome Coaster fans. So, this is Roller Coaster Fan 2000 here, and today I'm going to do a park battle. Today's park battle is Cedar Point versus Six Flags Magic Mountain. Now, this park battle, I am going to give credit to Dylan Thomas Salata for requesting it. If you have a video that you would like to see, feel free to request it, and if I find the time, I'll make it. But anyway, let's get down to business. Here is the point scale. And we will start with our wing riders. X2 versus Gatekeeper. And I'm going to give it to X2 at Magic Mountain because it's a 4D roller coaster. Now we've got our strata coasters and Right off the bat, we're tied. Top Thrill Drag, because Top Thrill Dragster is better than Superman Escape from Krypton. Now for the B&M Inverts. And this is kind of tough, Raptor versus Batman the Ride, but I'm going to give it to Raptor because Batman the Ride is really frequently cloned. Yes, I know Raptor has been cloned. But it's only been cloned once. Versus Batman the Rides. 30 something whatever. And now we've got our dueling coasters. And Twisted Colossus absolutely annihilates Gemini. I don't know how else to say it. But Twisted Colossus is just better than Gemini. Next, we've got our floorless coasters. Rougarou versus Scream. And Rougarou is going to win because its inversions are smoother and don't cause as much head banging. Next, we've got our Arrow Loopers. And Viper wins because, well, for clear but not obvious reasons. And now we've finally got our Hyper Coasters. Magnum versus Goliath. And I'm going to give it to Goliath because it's smoother, less predictable, faster. It's got everything except airtime. I, I do think Magnum has a better layout, but the manufacturer is not as good as the manufacturer for Goliath. It's a close call. Now we've got our twisty woodies. Mean Streak and Apocalypse, and I'm going to give it to Apocalypse, because it's not rough like Mean Streak. Mean Streak is a coaster you'll either love it or you'll hate it, and there is absolutely zero in between. But Apocalypse is kind of like, there's not anyone who's not going to like it, but, well, there are people who aren't going to like it, but not it's not a love-hate thing. You can like it without loving it. And here are the launch coasters. And Maverick wins because it's awesome! Hello, we're talking about an Intamin Blitz here. So Maverick's gonna win because it's awesome. Now we've got our suspended coasters. And... And Ninja will win because it's a more intense, more thrilling ride, and it goes through the woods. If it were scenery, Iron Dragon would win, but this is not scenery, it's ride experience. And now for the, both of these parks have Aero Mine Trains, and i if you're talking about aero mine trains, I prefer their hybrid mine trains. And Cedar Creek Mine Ride is a hybrid, and Gold Rusher is not. So, I'm going to give it to Cedar Creek Mine Ride. Now, this is kind of an odd matchup, but these are both family coasters. We've got Blue Streak and Revolution, and I'm going to give it to Revolution, because... It actually pulls some pretty intense G's through that vertical loop. 
Now we've got some kid coasters. And I'm going to give it to Wilderness Run because it's a classic. And now we've got some extra coasters from both parks. And Cedar Point will be receiving six points. Four for Millennium Force and two for Wicked Twister. And Magic Mountain will get five points. Two for Riddler's Revenge and Tatsu. And half a point for Canyon Blaster and Speedy Godzilla's Hot Rod Racers. Now for the Drop Tower and drop towers and Lex Luthor drop of doom destroys power tower the same way twisted colossus destroyed gemini it's just lex luthor is a whole lot better than power tower if you have the choice and now we've got the flat rides and cedar and six flags magic mountain other than lex luthor does not have any flat rides, but Cedar Point has this wheel. So Cedar Point has actually pulled ahead, and they will extend their lead because uh, they often run multiple trains when Magic Mountain will just run one. And Lodging, Cedar Point's always going to win this category, because they've got five hotels on site. Prices. Even though it's less than a $10 difference at Cedar Point, they are still cheaper. So, they're going to win. Now we've got Dining, and both parks received 3 out of 5 for Dining, so they're both going to receive points. Convenience. Cedar Point has bins on most of their rides. I, the one ride I know they don't have bins on is Top Thrill Dragster, but I think they have bins on the rest of their coasters. But anyway, Magic Mountain makes you buy lockers that you keep for the day. So that adds a lot to the price. And now we've got the appearance category, and like lodging, Cedar Point is pretty much always going to win this category, because um, they're on Lake Erie and have perhaps the best, one of the best, if not the best, front entrance in the world. Well, since with Cedar Fair doing those entrances, it might not be the best for long, but it is... Point will always win this category. And we have reached the end of this park battle. The scores have been totaled. And winning by 10 points is Cedar Point. Congratulations, Cedar Point. You have proven to be the better of the two parks. This is Roller Coaster Fan 2000 signing off.